We found the best MACD indicator strategy that has an extremely high win rate. Even though the strategy is very simple and easy to follow the strategy still makes a lot of profit. The strategy uses an improved version of the MACD indicator that works a lot better at providing accurate buy and sell signals. This means that we will be able to take positions that are a lot more profitable by using this improved MACD indicator. Please subscribe to the channel so that we can keep making these free videos. Now that we have gotten that out of the way, let's start. Let's first head over to TradingView. We will be showcasing the strategy on the 5 minute time frame since this was requested in our last video. Now let's add the indicator to the chart. We will first add the improved MACD indicator to the chart. Head over to the indicator search tab and search for the AK MACD indicator. Select the indicator made by Aldicad and add it to the chart. Now let's change the settings of the indicator to optimize it for the strategy. Navigate to the indicator settings tab and click on the style tab. We will be unchecking the bar colors checkbox. That was all that we needed to do. Now let's take a look at how we can use the indicator. The indicator is very powerful, however in its most basic form you can look at the indicator as a buy and sell signal indicator. Whenever the indicator switches from red to green and the signal occurs above the zero line we can interpret this as a buy signal. And whenever the indicator switches from green to red and the signal occurs below the zero line we can interpret this as a sell signal. Let's look at some potential entries that can be made with the indicator. As you can see the dots are above the zero line. This indicates that we are currently in a bullish trend. However, we also see that the dots are currently red. This indicates that there might be a pullback that is playing out. Once the dots switch back to green we will enter into the position if the dots are still above the zero line. As you can see this is the case so we will enter into a buy position. We will be putting the stop loss at the recent swing low. For the take profit, we will target a 1.5 times risk to reward ratio. Let's see how the trade plays out. Here we see that the dots are below the zero line. This shows us that we are currently in a downtrend. We see here that the dots switched from green back to red whilst being below the zero line. This means that we can enter into a sell position. We will place the stop loss at the recent swing high. For the take profit, we will target a 1.5 times risk to reward ratio. Now let's see how the trade plays out. Now that you know how the indicator works and how powerful the indicator is we will add another indicator to the chart because even though the indicator is very powerful it still provides false signals. By adding these other indicators to the chart, we will be able to get rid of these false signals. The first indicator that we will be adding is the SSL Hybrid Indicator. Head over to the Indicator Search tab and search for the SSL Hybrid Indicator. Select the indicator made by Mikkel and add it to the chart. The second and last indicator that we will be adding is the Volume Indicator. Search for the Volume Indicator. After that select the indicator made by TradingView and add it to the chart. These were all of the indicators that we will need. Now let's optimize the indicators by changing the settings. First navigate to the SSL Hybrid Indicator settings. After that click on the Style tab. We will be unchecking everything except for the MA baseline and the bar colors. When you have done that head over to the Inputs tab. We will be changing the MA baseline length from 60 to 30. After doing that change the MA baseline type from HMA to EMA. Lastly, we will need to change the volume indicator settings. Head over to the volume indicator settings and click on the style tab. Check the volume MA checkbox. We will also be changing the color to make it easier to see. After that click on the inputs tab. Change the MA length to 9. Now the indicators are ready to be used. We can still see the border on the candlesticks. To change this right click on the chart and click on the settings button. After that head over to the symbol settings. Uncheck the borders checkbox to remove the border colors. As you can see the chart looks a lot better now. 
Let me show you how we will use these indicators to filter out a lot of the false signals that the MACD indicator provides. The SSL will work as the trend filter indicator. This means that we will use the SSL indicator as a confirmation indicator. We will be looking for buy entries whenever the price is trading above the EMA baseline. And we will be looking for sell entries whenever the price is trading below the EMA baseline. However, this strategy won't work when there is a low amount of volume in the market. That's why we added the volume indicator to make sure that there is enough volume to push the price up or down. To determine whether there is enough volume we will be using the MA line. Whenever the volume bar is above the MA we will assume that there is enough volume in the market and whenever the volume bar is below the MA we will assume that there isn't enough volume in the market. Now that you know how we will be using the indicators that we added to the chart, let's take a look at when to enter into a buy position. But before that, if you are looking for a secure and reliable broker that has been operating since 2007 and has raw spreads from zero pips, extremely low fees, no hidden markups, and free deposits and withdrawals, then check out AAFX the best broker to trade forex, indices, commodities, stocks, and cryptocurrencies. They have many deposit methods such as crypto, credit card, and many others. Sign up via the link in the description of the video and get access to all of the previously mentioned features. Firstly, the price must be trading above the EMA indicating that we are currently in an uptrend. Once there is a pullback to the EMA the candlestick and EMA line will turn grey or red. If the price is at the EMA but the color doesn't change, we will ignore the signal. To validate the entry, we will need to take a look at the volume indicator. If the volume bar is above the MA, this will mean that the second condition has been met. Lastly, we will need to take a look at the improved MACD indicator. If the dots are above the zero line, we will enter into the trade when the dots switch from red to green. We enter into the trade because the MACD shows that the bullish trend will continue. We will place the stop loss at the EMA or at the recent swing low, depending on the volatility of the market. For the take profit, we will target a 1.5 times risk to reward ratio. Now let's see how the trade plays out. As you can see here, the price has pulled back to the EMA. The color of the candlestick and EMA has also changed. This means that the first condition has been met. If we take a look at the volume indicator, we also see that the volume bar is above the moving average. This means that the second condition has also been met. However, the MACD has not turned green yet. We will need to wait for the MACD to turn green before entering into the position. We can see here that the MACD has turned green. However, we won't be entering into the position because the switch happened below the zero line. Now let's take a look at a sell signal. Firstly, we see that the price is trading below the EMA indicating that we are currently in a downtrend. Once there is a pullback to the EMA the candlestick and EMA line will turn grey or blue. If the price is at the EMA but the color doesn't change, we will ignore the signal. To validate the entry, we will need to take a look at the volume indicator. If the volume bar is above the EMA, this will mean that the second condition has been met. Lastly, we will need to take a look at the improved MACD indicator. If the dots are below the zero line, we will enter into the trade when the dots switch from green to red. We enter into the trade because the MACD shows that the bearish trend will continue. We will place the stop loss at the EMA or at the recent swing high depending on the volatility of the market. For the take profit, we will target a 1.5 times risk to reward ratio. Now let's see how the trade plays out. This version of the MACD indicator works a lot better than the old version. When we combine the improved MACD indicator with the other indicators, the strategy seems to work extremely well showing a lot of profitable trades. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you haven't already, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions feel free to leave a comment.